Hey, our friends, today we're going to draw a bride. With a pretty dress. Yeah, a super pretty dress. Mm -hmm. You ready to start? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Now, we're drawing with markers, but you guys at home could draw with whatever you feel comfortable drawing with. And we also have two sheets of paper so that our marker doesn't go through the one sheet and onto the table. Yeah. All right, let's first start by drawing our bride's face. And we're going to draw her head right in the middle of our paper. So we're going to draw a U shape. Comes down and then back up. Well, that's a big head. <laughs> Right here? Yeah. That's a great spot. <laughs> Whoa, that's huge. <laughs> All right, it's going to be fun. Okay, now we're going to draw her eyes. So we're going to draw a big circle right here and right here. <laughs> Two circles. And I kind of spaced them out. Yes. One more. Yeah, you did it. Okay, now inside of her eyes, we're going to draw smaller circles in the top right corner. And then we're going to draw even smaller circles down in the bottom left corner. So down here. Kay. There's one. And then we're going to draw another one. Good. <laughs> we did it. Okay, now we're going to color in the big circle, but leave those two smaller circles white. What should we add next? Hallie? Eyelashes. Eyelashes. Okay, we're going to add three, or we could even just do two. Eyelashes. Little curves. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's a lot of eyelashes. <laughs> okay, now let's draw her nose. I'm going to draw a little circle right in between her two eyes. Next, let's draw her mouth. We're going to draw a little curve right below her nose. <laughs> Okay, next let's draw her hair. And I'm gonna draw a curve that starts outside of her head, it connects to the side, and comes up. And then and then we're gonna draw another curve that connects over to the other side. And if you want, you could draw kind of an S curve. If it makes it easier. <laughs> You did it! Okay, now let's extend that just a little further, and that's so that we can draw an ear underneath her hair. So we draw a J line, and a J line over here for her other ear. Now what should we add? Earrings. Earrings? Okay. I'm going to draw a little circle on each ear. <laughs> that's really pretty. Okay. Oh, and you're coloring them in. I like it. Okay, now we're going to draw the top of her head, and we're just going to draw a rainbow line, but we're going to start over here, and we're going to draw a rainbow line that goes all the way over to the other side. So pretty. It's so pretty, and we're not going to connect it, okay? We're going to leave it just like that. Okay. Okay, now we're going to draw the rest of her hair later. We're going to first draw her dress next. So we're going to draw two lines, one that comes down over here, and one that comes down over on the other side. <laughs> yep, and then another one right next to it that's the same length. Good. Okay, now right at the bottom, let's connect it with a curve, one side over to the other. And then right above that, let's add one more curve. Good, and then we could add lace on the bottom. So I'm going to draw a bunch of U shapes that are connected. That's for the bottom of her wedding dress. Good. Let's add a few more details, okay? Kay. Let's add a bow right in the middle. So let's draw a little rectangle or a square, square shape. There we go. Squirrel out of here. Then we're going to draw a diagonal line that goes up. Uh -huh. And we'll draw a diagonal line that goes down. Down. <laughs> and then we're going to connect them. Connect them. <laughs> and then let's do the same on the other side. Diagonal line up, down, and connect them. Up, down, <laughs> connect them. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the ribbon that's coming down from her bow. So I'm going to draw two lines coming down. Okay, and then you could draw them a little bit longer. There you go. And then we're going to draw two more lines, one on each side. Like that. And then down at the bottom, we're going to connect these two and these two. 
Good. Okay, now let's draw the waist. So we're going to draw two lines that go from the bow out to the side. Yes, and then we can draw two on the other side. Okay, let's draw a U for her neck, like that. Now what is she missing? Her arms. Yeah, she's missing her arms. So let's draw sleeves. So let's draw a little... Puffy. Yeah, puffy sleeves. Puffy. <laughs> C-shape. And we could draw a backward C-shape on the other side. Oh, they're so tiny arms. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, we haven't drawn our arms yet. <laughs> okay, now right here at the bottom, let's draw an L-shape comes down and back in. And then we'll draw a backwards L over here. Okay, now over here on this side, let's draw a bouquet of flowers that she's holding. So I'm gonna draw a couple circles. Watch this, one, two, three circles, all connected together. Okay, so those are the flowers. Now we're gonna draw some leaves. So I'm gonna draw a V shape right there. Okay. And we could draw a V shape on the other side. Yes. And then let's draw an L shape that comes down. And this is for the stems of the flower. And then we're gonna draw, oh sorry, line that comes down and then over. And then let's draw another line back up. So that's for the stems of our flower. Okay, now let's draw her arms. So on this side, let's draw an arm that comes down and curves in. It looks like a J. Okay. Yes. And then over here, we're gonna draw a line that just connects to the flower. Now, we're only drawing that part of her arm because her hand is being covered up by the flowers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's keep going. Now let's draw her shoes. And we can barely see them right under her dress. So let's draw a little U shape. And we'll draw another U shape over here for her right foot. <laughs> oh, those are small feet. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the rest of her hair. So right here, we're gonna draw the rest of her hair. It's gonna come down and in to her body. And then we can do the same thing. Whoa. Oh, that's a lot of hair, I like it. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the same thing over here, down and into her body. Okay, what is our bride missing that she usually wears on top of her head? A veil. A veil, yeah. So let's draw, we're gonna draw a curve, rainbow line that goes all the way over from the left side of her head over to the right side of her head. Yes, that makes her look like a princess, huh? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna imagine this coming down behind her hair and we're gonna draw a line that comes down like this Yes, and let's do the same thing on the other side. Let's draw a line down on the other side, and then we're gonna connect it. So I'm gonna draw a wavy line, and then we're gonna imagine it going behind her dress and connecting to the other side. Heads, we did it, we finished our bride. You did awesome. Did you have fun? Yeah. All right, okay, let's put our markers off to the side and what should we do next? Color her. Yeah, she's gonna look really pretty once we color her. Okay, you ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right, right now. now. Your bride turned out really beautiful. Now you guys at home can pause the video right now to match the same coloring, but I think you should color your brides your own way. Mm -hmm. You could change the color of her skin, the color of her hair. You could even add extra decorations to her dress. Maybe even make her flowers bigger. What else could you do to this drawing, Hats? Add a background. Yeah, you could add lots of flowers all around her in the background. Mm -hmm. And we hope you had a lot of fun drawing your brides with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye. When did I tell you you could get married? 60. 60. <laughs>